What is up, YouTube? You tube. Mr. King coming at you live from the 209. Here are the questions for the day. Please pause the video and answer them now. Hint for number three. Remember, when something's freezing, if something is getting colder, then the system is releasing heat. Since you're losing heat, that's the same thing as getting cold. <clears throat> okay, so for today, what you're gonna do, go to classwork, week three, Thursday, Cheeto worksheet. Here's what you're doing. So first thing, <clears throat> please watch this video right here. It's a lab that we would have done in person, but we can't obviously, so you're gonna do it. We're just gonna watch a video of it. And then while you watch the video, write down three things you notice. Just anything you notice about the Cheeto burning or what happens to the can, what happens to the temperature, three things you notice. And then three questions that you have. So for example, you could say like, I noticed a Cheeto caught on fire really quick. And then as a question, you could just put a why in front of it. Why did the Cheeto catch on fire so quick? That could be something that you say. So those are the first two boxes. Next, I want you to examine the food label. Try and guess what are calories. What do, it says 160 calories. What does a calorie actually mean? And what do you think, like, when you eat all these calories, what will it actually do in your body? Just guess. I just want to see what you know. I won't go over the right answer yet. And the next thing, so when you eat, what helps you get the energy out of the food you eat? Try and think. It has to do with an organ. What is something that helps you get the food out of, the energy out of the food that you eat? Okay. Number one, how do you think calories are measured? So basically, when scientists want to know how much calorie something is, what they have to do, they have to burn the food. Then they burn it and then see how hot does the water get. So they want to see how much of that chemical energy gets converted to thermal energy. So you just burn the food and see how hot the water will get. We use water because it's a standard we can use for all food. Yep. So that's how calories are measured. You basically burn it and see how much of the energy becomes thermal energy. Then I want you to guess, how does the energy flow? Where does the energy in the Cheeto begin? And then where does the energy in the Cheeto end up? Last one. If I burned a 200 calorie donut versus a 560 calorie Big Mac, which one will change the water temperature more and why? Please fill in the blank. So if you burned a donut and a Big Mac, the blank will increase the water temperature more because then try and come up with a reason why. Cool, thank you so much. Once you finish that, please hit turn in and do the grade check survey.